Well, it is a windy day today, and in order to stave off cabin fever, I think I might build something with uh, the things that I have laying around the shop. It's uh, some half-inch copper uh, water pipe right there. That might do. And uh, I've got some stuff here that I've got laying around. There's a knife and some nylon cord and some needle nose pliers, tape measure, lighter as a drill. These are some dimensions. I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, this is baling wire, tubing cutter, and I don't know. We'll see what else I have laying around that I can use. I just don't want to go crazy because uh, staying inside is not good for your mental health and building stuff is good for your mental health. So let's build something. <clears throat> Okay, what I'm going to want to do is get a note out of this pipe, and that's what the dimensions are for. I want an E, B, F sharp, and G sharp. I believe that's what those are, right? <laughs> These four tones uh, allegedly are very melodious together, and in order to achieve those tones with half-inch copper, these are my dimensions. Uh, or lengths, 17 and 3, uh, 13, 16, etc. And then the next number will be where I hang that from. So let's uh, build one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, there's the length. And now, four inches down. I'm going to take a little piece of this and I'm going to make a, a loop de loop on one side, like that. See that? Can you do that? Okay, I'm going to put that through there. And this is where we're going to hang it from. You see? This should be an E. I'm not really too, I'm tone deaf, I don't understand how music works, so. I'm just going by these numbers, which you can find. There's a website that gives you all the science on how to build what I'm building today. I'll leave that in the description. All right. For now, I need some nylon string. Nylon likes to unravel. So in order to prevent that, I'm going to cut it with a hot knife. Easy. Okay, that part's easy. The next part, not so much. So that's what I want to do is put a loop in the bottom and dangle that line inside there so it's deep enough. Hopefully when I put the dealie through there. Aha! Got it. Now we'll just do a slip knot right here. Pull it tight. There we go. Now we're hung from this spot. Twist that around a little bit more. Now we've got that. Okay, Whew. that wasn't hard. Now let's do the other three. Okay, now that I have all four of these uh, chimes made, now I just need something to hang them from. This would do, but it's sturdy, so let's clean it. You don't want dirty wind chimes now, do you? Look at this, dirty. Dirty. The camera's dirty. Oh, there's a hatch in there. That looks dirty. Okay, now that our drone is clean, we can drill holes in it. Mmm, that smells delicious now. It's like ivory fresh. Okay, hole number one. Hole number two. And 
Let me put a hole over here. Cool. Okay. Now the question is, can I get this uh, thing through there? And, mm -hmm. And now all I gotta do is tie all of these to a central point. And rather than just make a little knot and hang it up, I think I'm going to use this lure. This lure was given to me by a very young man named Preston who came and visited my business once. And I was so impressed by the fact that this uh, young man made his own lure and then he was going to give it to me. Um, I could never see myself using this, not because I don't think I could catch fish with it, but because I wouldn't want to lose it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie all the strings together here and I'll hang it from here and this way I'll never lose this. Thank you Preston. Okay, now I just need a striker. Yep, that'll do. Marty, what are you doing? Okay, let's hang this thing up. You know, I actually think it's like the perfect wind chime because uh, wind chimes are annoying. 